Don't stand so close to me. One goblin, fine. A hundred goblins, trouble. I don't need you guys.
Ah, find me some easy adversaries. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> our enemies. Supervise the opening.
can't go higher, so we must go lower. A fascinating attempt at logic. There, don't you step on my lovage patch. Oops, sorry. That's a lovely garden you have here, even though the plants look dry. Ah, tell me about it. Those damn goblins from the seventh floor have stolen my watering tools. Even the hops, though vigorous, don't even grow anymore. Damn goblins' hops are secret. We'll find them and make them pay. Just tell us where they're hiding. They live in their dump of a workshop on the seventh floor, surrounded by dangerous machines. They come here with their rope ladders or their flying machines to steal the copper from the pipes. Yep, they're known for their inventiveness and hazardous tinkering. Also for being literal scum that should die painfully. So if we find the watering tools, you'll reward us handsomely for bringing it back, right? Goodness, no. The watering tools belong to the herbalist. She knows how to set it up. I'm just here to pull the weeds and hoe the soil. I never water. You have a very specific task for a gardener. That's because I'm not a gardener. Not at all. The co-op gave me the title of First Class Cleaning Operative in Charge of Self-Propagating Plants and Soil Oxygenation. I think the co-op guys must smoke some of those weeds. We found your watering stuff. Quickly, hook it up and save the hops. Many thanks. Hmm, it seems the goblins have damaged it. Faucets and copper junctions are missing. I'll have to order the parts and see what I can do to fix it. The poor plants, they must be so thirsty. You're here. I'm still working on fixing my tools, but I have some spare herbs to sell you. It's a misunderstanding! My wares are of highest quality! Hey, would you mind letting me out? I'll reward you handsomely! I believe the Exploratory Collective is back with a new request. So they are. The roads they've taken through their wondrous peregrinations seem to have brought them to us in search of our miracles. Or they're running in circles like idiots. Nah, we killed a demon, brought justice to a bunch of rascals. 
Thing is, we need to find some dude, and we don't have the right skills. We're looking for the master of this dungeon. It seems he's being held captive somewhere and kept hidden. I see. It goes without saying, however, that our intervention is dependent on just retribution of our astral skills via a preliminary transfer of fiat cash. We'll manage on our own. We can't give him our gold. Wait, wait, wait. What if I told you we are all trapped in a demonic time loop? The dread that comes with the evils unleashed by demons is prone to make any wise man doubt his own path. But did you really think you could play us like that? Yeah, because all you do is drink, smoke like a couple of blast furnaces, and pig out on fondue. We're aesthetes of the cheesy agape. How dare you? Just a sec. I'm checking my Astral Anomalies scanner. I had, in fact, switched it off when we arrived to keep the commercial solicitations from interrupting us. Drat! Damn, we've been duped, like, like dupes. And how am I supposed to find the chosen one, his magic sword, and the crazy bitch in the lake now? You see? We share the same nightmare. Our common interest is obviously linked to the termination of this demonic space-time disturbance. However, it is not our want to do volunteer work. Dude, you're a total asshole. Not only did you pawn my sword to pay your debts, but now you won't even lift a finger for those kids who are trying to save our asses? Yes, well, it seems reasonable to outline the convergence of our needs as a justification for the deduction of the full amount of our wages for the aforementioned intervention. We have been told the Dungeon Master must be brought back in order to break the loop. Tis true that the return of the Master of these premises should appease the existential dissonance clutching at this dark fortress. But where is the f***? We could look for him through a divinatory ritual, like the times I have to pick the ripest cheese wheel in a cheese cellar. If you could, that would be perfect. But to do this, we need something that belonged to him, a valuable item. How are we supposed to find an item that belonged to someone we don't know? It would be surprising if you couldn't find any of the Master's personal belongings anywhere in the whole fortress. Ask his personal servants for information. His steward, for example? Uh, who could we interrogate? Ravax, the half-goblin, the steward of this dungeon. Good idea. We'll pull bits off of him until he talks. Yes! If this keeps going, I'll end up disappearing from this adventure altogether. My life is but a long, miserable humiliation. We can always count on you to whine. Come on, onto the fourth floor. Come and find us in the summoning circle with an item that is befitting. We'll be laying the groundwork for the ritual ceremony, the accomplishment of which relies on rhythmic sequential cantillations. Well, here we are, but no Ravax. Strange, all these signs of struggle. Looks like a battle went down here. Ha! Goblins are always squabbling with each other. There's a strange broken bottle on the ground. Look, it's some Chateau Le Luzer, a renowned vintage. Who do we care about empty bottles? There's not a drop left in it. Chateau Le Luzer is no mere table wine. It's a premium vintage. The bottle was smashed. This warrants our attention. I think we should listen to the thief. For once. Ah, thank you. It's good to feel validated. Who's the thief guy again? Ah, should I be bothered by being ignored by the ignorant? Okay, fine. We should listen to him. But it feels weird. I knew it. My isolation was the result of a plot. Well, come on. We're listening. Doesn't mean we have to like you. So where's Ravax if he's not around? I was saying he's been abducted. This bottle is a major hint. Look, there are goblin hairs and bits of flesh on the glass shards. Ew, that's gross. If someone knocked him out with the bottle, and since the whole dungeon is trapped in a loop, this means the bottle must have come from the inn. That holds up. It's an interesting investigative approach to find where Ravax is. Who's that Ravax guy? Well, I think it'd be better to interrogate Mel Boots. The innkeeper must know something about this bottle. I don't like this Mel guy. He seems like a wimp. If you ask me, we should grill him until he talks. And fill his nostrils with mustard, yeah. Yeah, fine, got it. Still, feels wrong. I mean, paying attention to the thief is just odd. In turn, I'll act as if I didn't hear what you just said. Let's go to the inn.
านของชุนได้เลยชูSome easy adversaries, <laughs> uh, I think. Time. <laughs> Gato. Akina time. My turn. Here I am. Can I stop making chairs for this. A 
amazingly bad. without kneecaps, are you? My way! But efficient.
Yoga, sois là, bon sois là Mon Tarlac Tend to forget me. Leveled up. The wizard is leveled up.
You again? What's your poison? We want to see Mel. He's away. Don't know where he is. This place is crazy busy at this hour, and I'm overwhelmed. When was the last time you saw him? Just after Black Smog screwed up the whole dungeon, he ran from his room like the devil was after him, a bottle in hand. Did you notice what bottle he was holding? A Chateau Le Luzer, mayhaps? Yeah, right. I've got nothing better to do. I work here, you know. Someone has to put up with all those drunks who burp their life stories down your cleavage. If you're not ordering, then buy. Fine. We'll go look somewhere else. We could look around his room for hints. Good idea. It's an okay idea at best. Don't blow it out of proportion. Speaking of, how long are we going to have to listen to the thief? My ears are stinging. I was not listening. Me neither. What's he saying? He does not want to do this. not go back. He says he doesn't care, and his ears are plugged up with wax. Well, I'll get used to this. At least three of you are sort of listening. Anyway, let's find Mel's room. The Hullbuck's Inn is renowned throughout the land of Fang. Our specialty is beer and bear stew. What a glory hall. Hey, what? Look, those strange garments. It's a cultist gown. Hmm, smells like wine. And this gown belongs to Tough Luck's clergy. It seems this innkeeper has been hiding a lot from us. I like playing hide and seek, especially in the woods. Maybe he's hiding. We should count before going after him. Yeah, you stay here and catch a million. We'll get a head start. Oh, right. You should go first on account of your tiny legs. Nice burn. Cool it, cockroach. We listened to you once before. Don't go thinking you get to talk now. Look, a wine crate. Chateau Le Luzer. The same wine of which we found a broken bottle in Bravax apartment. And let me remind you, this is also the wine we brought back to him from the cellar. Good gravy. All this fuss over some wine. Beer all the way! Look, I appreciate all these harebrained ideas, but they don't tell us where Ravax is. It's elementary, my dear Ranger. Mel Boots must be involved in Ravax's disappearance. But he's not at the tavern. And since it's impossible to exit the dungeon, he must still be in there. Seems logical, but where? Let's see. Where could an innkeeper, obsessed with fine wine and who leads a double secret life as a cultist, find a hideout? Someplace cool and damp? In the woods? He's in the woods, right? The undergrowth is cool and damp. Nonsense. I got it. He's in a mushroom farm. Inside a meat locker. No, no, you are absolute Morons in the basement with all the wine. Mel Boots is in the basement. Oh, yeah, good idea. All right, come down. We get it. Who's this Mel guy? Oh, God. Let's go to the basement. There he is, the double-crossing innkeeper. So, you brainless quits, looking for a good shanking? So you're really evil? I don't think I found you friendly. Ha, only because I told you you look like a leader. Leader my ass, I've never seen such a punchable face. Any other yokel would be more believable. You're telling me. It's another one of his tricks. But you'll never bamboozle us again with your lies. There's no bamboozling left to do, you fop doodle. I've been leading you around by the nose since the beginning, keeping you off my turf. But now you've really pissed me off. Why is he so mean? He's a cultist of tough luck. Ugh. Keep up a little. Now, nah, it was true I used to be an adventurer. Took an arrow to the knee, got gang green and all. But then tough luck came to me and saved me. After that, we were pretty tight, you know. Well, you're gonna hand over that bastard Ravax, or we'll take care of both your knees this time. Who's that Ravax guy? Seriously, your friend is a little dim, right? Forget it. So, will you give us Ravax? If you don't, we'll kick your snout in. Too late, buddies. I've hired the best mercenaries there are to turn you into bedside rugs. I'll teleport him to the third floor, right behind Losax's seals. As if. 
Teleportation is a high-level spell, not some cantrip within any old innkeeper's reach. I've got it all written down on a cursed scroll. Once he's stashed behind those seals, you'll never be able to reach him. Well, see ya, losers! in my flames! Turn, Roach. Suffer, topsiders.
Dark Elves suck. Chicken shit. Take me for a fool. Say hello to my little friend. I stay upstairs. Justice has been served.
Et bouge Fly away My turn. I'm the best. The You're uh, wide open to uh, my criticals. Uh. Bingo! Uh. I'll shatter uh. your spleen! Stick around. Voila! Oh, sorry, that was entropy. Answer my hey, watch out! Ah! Ah! I'll send you back uh, up in pieces. Uh. Tough it out. Oh, no. 
I'm here. Just saying. People tend to forget me. Justice and barbecue! The dwarf leveled up. That's it. This asshole's gonna die. Yep. You're not wrong, but it's too late. Life's a bitch. Ugh. All right, we could still look for clues nearby. The elf leveled up. The thief leveled up. 